guys there is a particular lady that has been trending on social media right now for the wrong reasons and a lot of people are really talking about her on social media i think you need to understand one thing about this social media thing a lot of people just come out to say some trashy things just to trend for the wrong reasons and in long time it affects them to an extent that is what i believe about that but this lady called uh, Saida or something like that has been trending on social media ever since being interviewed at a podcast interview with uh, Nedu. She trended for the wrong reasons and people are really commenting. And I like the way ladies are coming out to speak against her because she believes that life is all about you know, sleeping with men and getting money from it. That is what her what is all about. If a man is ready to offer her 20 million naira, she can really sleep with any man for that. And that is not what the life of a woman should be. That is what many people are really coming out to say. And a person of director Pink has come out to really, really talk about this and it's trending out on social media. People are really getting interested in the big story at this. Let's catch a glimpse so that you get to understand the angle she's coming from and how people are really responding to that big story. Some guys, eh? Mm -hmm. Some guys will go to any land to get in between your legs. Yeah. If they see that it's money that you want, they will spend the money. If you can spend up to and like 20 invest, million a week, you, know, you can wait. go to my legs. You can go to anywhere. 20 million, 50 million, that's money. So Do you understand? Go, they can sleep with you if they can spend up to 20 million. One, one time wouldn't hurt. One time of sleeping week. with you Exactly, one time wouldn't hurt. Now, I want to ask you this question. And the again. guy will do all the work. All the just lying. Exactly. <laughs> He's going to do all the work. Now, this what can you really say about this lady? This lady is always finding a way to trend for the wrong reasons. I know that, yes, uh, this time is hard and a lot of people are ready to offer themselves just to get the good life they deserve. But being a lady does not mean that you have to sell yourself cheap or expensive because of what? That is the question I keep asking. There are some ladies working hard out there and these guys are really you know earning money for themselves and we have to really celebrate those kind of ladies like director prink who is a video director and has worked with the likes of uh, burner boy the likes of a lot of celebrities out there even whiskey you get to understand that she is earning legitimate um, you know money for her job that is making her super rich at a time like this we have a lot of ladies in the tech we have a lot of ladies in the entertainment, some are comedians, and these ladies are really earning money for themselves. And this one that doesn't have content to actually put on social media decided to trend for the wrong reasons, and now she is getting a backlash for this. What is your own take about that? Ladies, your life is beyond sleeping with men and earning money for it. You have a lot of things to offer and the world is waiting for you guys. Why did Whiskey Son unfollowed Whiskey on Instagram? That is the question many people are really asking ever since uh, that made it to the social media. Some people went on to search for Whiskey Son and uh, you know Whiskey Speech and vice versa and got to understand that Whiskey Son Bolua Tife has actually unfollowed his dad. Why is that? Some people are blaming out to the boy. Why some other persons are saying just because Whiskey is missing in the life of this person. What is your own take about that? I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further because it's trending out on social media. People are making their own statement about all of this. Buju speaks about entertainment, music business and the rest and talked about Artist Bank, for instance, that can give opportunity to artists to create their idea into visibility. I think we need to really understand it that, you know, music opportunities right now cannot really be compared to those days. An artist can start as an independent one because you have the social media platforms, you have a lot of platforms to promote yourself and to earn a living from it. Many people, they don't put out physical CDs and uh, the rest again. What they do is post their music on this platform, promote their music and they earn for it. A lot of people are really getting interested in this particular game and it's all getting clear at the end of the day. For instance, people post their content on YouTube and get paid for it depending on the number of views and people post their content on Apple Music Chat and they get, you know, kind of paid for this 
And do you understand that a lot of people are really reading out big revenues from this without having a record label? That is something you need to understand about this whole thing. Let's listen to Buji as he speaks about all of this and trend it on social media out there. If I do 1 million streams, I'm getting $7,500 on Apple Music. If you do 1 million streams on Spotify, you get $5,500. You're already making money without even knowing anything. All you need to do is just make sure the music is great enough for people to stream it. To a lot of up-and-coming artists, it's like they feel like the only way to pop is signing into a record deal, a record label. Okay. They don't even care if they're reading the contract on it. If they see there's some money to it, they can do what they want to do with it, you know. The mentality, like I said, if you don't get money, they kill like idea. So, mm. like, you're really trying to look money to actually make up to that idea that you have in your head, but you don't know what you're signing up, especially young people. I wish there was someone like an artist bank. Imagine there was a case where like, you could actually present your idea to other people who could actually gauge the idea and see, ah, right, this makes a lot of sense. We're going to give you money, like a bank type of thing, but you know, properly structured, whereby you know how the money is coming back, how they're, how they're giving it to you, and how they're going to tell how the expenses are going on. On this, what are your own takes about that? Do you think Buju is actually making sense in this whole game? I want you to put that in the comment section because a lot of people are really seeing with the eyes of Buju that yes, it's easier to to become successful these days as an artist if you are doing the right things at the right time that is what it is all you need is the platforms and the updates and then the traffic to actually get you going that is one thing i believe about that and a lot of people are really making a lot of money of this and this is a big one out there permits me once more to speak about ladies because this is really getting you know kind of troubling in our society a lot of people are really responding to that and even the first lady came out to speak about how ladies dress in nigeria that they should stop copying the western world to an extent because this is really really disturbing and ruining a lot of people out there and people are really getting involved in this and saying that this is a big one and a big interesting story but recently the first lady came out to speak and advise young nigerian ladies on how they dress shabbily and uh, half naked and that is not the way forward because it is not our culture to dress naked and now the lies of mcmills has actually responded to that are saying that yeah you know um black ladies when they dress this it's not that american blacks love the way they dress and all those kind of things it's a turn off for them and some people are really really getting interested and this is a big topic we need to talk about because most people now believe that by exposing their body that is when they increase their market value and their selling point that is not it at all because when it comes to time for a man to get married he looked beyond all of this that is something you guys need to actually understand let's watch what the first lady said about uh the nigerian ladies dressing and how it was being responded to the message here is we have to salvage our children you know we see the way they dress they keep forgetting that nigeria we are beautiful the moment you can see what they showcase on the stage i said we are fashionable we see what is going on you know we are not having a met gala and everyone their nakedness is just everywhere and the men are well clothed so we have to do something tell them the way it is we don't accept nakedness in our culture they, that that is not beautiful it's not beautiful at all and they are all beautiful girls but they should be confident to know they are they don't want to be like even they are mimicking and trying to uh, emulate film stars from what are your own takes about the story i want you to put that in the comment section so that you can talk about it further before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos